In this video, I'm going to show you how to do derivatives of exponential functions. So here's an exponential function. f of x is equal to e to the power of x. The derivative rule for functions like this is that if y is equal to e to the power of x, then dy by dx is going to be equal to e to the power of x. That's not a typo. That's real. If we have a function f of x is equal to e to the power of x, the derivative, the first derivative, is going to be the exact same function, e to the power of x. The derivative at any point in this function, e to the power of x, is the same as its value. So here our derivative would be 40. Here our derivative would be 30, our slope. Here our slope or our derivative would be 20. Here our derivative or slope would be 10, and so forth. e to the power of x is so cool in that the slope of its function is its own value. And that's consistent with what we see with exponential functions in that as x increases, the slope gets steeper by a lot and fast. Now let's apply this concept to an example. What is the derivative of f of x is equal to e to the power of x plus 5x squared? So in this example, we've got the separation of two function of, functions of x with a plus or minus sign, so we can use the sum difference rule. So f prime of x is going to be equal to the derivative of e to the power of x plus the derivative of 5x squared. Now, the derivative of e to the power of x is itself. It's e to the power of x. And then the derivative of 5 times x to the power of 2x is simply 5 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. This gives me my first derivative of e to the power of x plus 10x. And there is my final answer. And that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to get into some more complicated versions of exponential functions, but I'll let you practice first.